Hello, happy Thursday, and I'm Toby Tompkins with Safio, and this is Ask Toby. Hope you've had a good week. Um, a lot's going on this week, and a lot of questions um, that have come in this week have been around um, the role of leadership being performative rather than really focusing on how to respond to the timely and urgent crises of the day. Um, this is really something that um, I think we can see not only in this moment with you know all of the craziness of, of VUCA and of, I mean of COVID and of the economy and the marketplace and, and all of the racial and civic unrest and protests that we've been experiencing around the world, but it begs a fundamental question and it's not a question shaped in blame or shaped in shame. It's a fundamental question of how do we learn and when do we decide to lead from the middle. So what do I mean by that? Um, and, and the question that came in for me was one that was really powerful, which is why aren't some of the larger global philanthropic institutions, what are they doing um, about the crisis in India? And why aren't we hearing more about it? It's, as we look at, there's a, there's a really interesting problem that the United States has, which is that when we have pain and you know George Floyd being one, the whole world knows about our pain. And because of that, the world responds with the greatest humanity for our pain. And I can tell you that as an African-American man in this country, the United States of America, the fact that the world cares in ways that sometimes feels like it, they care more than my own American citizens does, that means the world to me. And it gives me hope, it inspires me. But I also have to be honest, if I can hold that position and say, well, I also have an obligation as an individual, as an American citizen, as a human being, as a global citizen, to care as much about tragedies and crises that are happening elsewhere around the world. And as a leader, we have a responsibility to come together and move beyond our own eco chambers, okay? Stop philanthropists talking to philanthropists and economists talking to economists and business people talking to business people. We need to come together and we need to not talk not share theories, but actually learn how to sit down and say to places like India. And I've seen this in Rwanda. I've seen this in Nigeria with the Lost Girls. I've seen it in so many different ways. When do we get to come and lead from the middle? And what does leading from the middle mean? It means first off, recognizing that while you may have an answer, you may not have the answer. And the person who has the answer that you wanna to respond to is the person who is suffering the most. COVID is ravishing, for example, India. I don't hear enough about it. I don't certainly shouldn't have to go to international media to hear what's happening on the ground. And the people who are mobilizing are not our large global institutions and our large philanthropic institutions. It's the grassroots organizations that care, that know people that come from those communities. So our challenge, and what I'm challenging anyone who's listening today, is to think about, are you doing enough to meet, lead from the middle? If you have access to resources, if you have access to talent, if you can cut the check, then sit down with people who live outside of your world, most particularly people who are in those worlds like India and say, what do you need? What can we do to help? That's the question of the day. All right, if you, have, if you wanna talk about this some more, once again, as always, you can reach me at asktoby at safio.com. Have a great week.